Okay, so as some of you that are quite clearly a hell of a lot cleverer than me have probably figured out, this is part two of the Nextbase GW522 camera review. Uh, I went off looking for my phone and uh, yeah, my phone is actually videoing it. That's my phone. I went looking around the entire house wondering where the hell my phone had gone and then when I walked back in here to double check everything, there's my phone sat there laughing at me. Anyway, um, we got to the point on this where we had to pair it with the phone, which is a simple procedure to follow. It is all step by step on the phone. It takes you through it bit by bit. You attach by Bluetooth, you pair, it gives you the pin number on the screen. You get the same pin number on your phone or I got the iPhone. So it came up with the pin number and I just clicked OK. Um, it's uh, dead easy to set up, really. And then it gives you the choice of whether you want to set up um, like a, an incident report. So if an accident does happen, it can automatically email you and your insurers with um, the video footage. I've left all of that stuff not set up for now, simply because I've just paired this also with my Alexa app because it does have Alexa on here. So it says next case connect to collect your phone to an exit. Oh, I've already done that. So let's have a quick play. So let's go into the settings. There's video settings, driver assist, connect apps and setup. So we'll have a look at video settings. Now we want the, you know, really you want the best resolution possible because you don't really want to miss anything or have anything go, um, you know, blurry on you. So I'm going to choose video length of three minutes. I'm presuming what that means is it just loops. So you've got three minute recording over and over and over and over again. Um, I want the audio on. Exposure. I'm not sure what that does. So we'll leave that alone. Now it's got time startup. Or oh, time stamp, sorry. So yeah, we'll have that on because I want to know the time that happens. GPS. Stamp is on, model stamp, we'll leave that on. It tells them what dash cam is being controlled by and um, whatever speed you were doing at the time. So we'll leave all that on. Dual files, we'll have that on because I'm going to be having an attachment when it's in the car, so we'll leave that on. Time lapse, no, we'll leave time lapse off because I'd like to, to record in real time. Number plate, you can enter the number plate of your vehicle there. I'm not going to because obviously I'm going in several different vehicles. G sensor is the sensor that when you're parked and this thing is still plugged in, if it recognizes um, your vehicle suddenly moving like somebody's just backed into it or whatever, I think it then sort of keeps that particular recording. It'll start recording what's going on from what I've read. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking it is because it's what I've read up online. So we'll leave that set on. So we'll go back here now, that's video settings done. Driver assistance, emergency SOS, I haven't set that up. Reversing camera, I haven't set that up um, because obviously I don't want either one of them uh, working at the moment. My Next Base, you have to download the My Next Base app. Um, once you download it, it takes you through setting up, pairing it with your phone, um, so that you can then view different things. Obviously, I can't really review the app because I need my phone where the app is to show you the device. So we've got Alexa. And as you can see there, when you click set up my phone, it tells you to go and download Amazon Alexa on your phone. And then you add it as a new vehicle accessory device on your phone. Then we go to Alexa. I've chosen Alexa on because I'm going to want to have a chat with it. Privacy mode. When it's on, the dash cam will not listen for an exit, so I don't want privacy mode on. Um, so that's the connected apps. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see. Yes, you can see, actually. It is um, pretty good. That's the anti-glare thing. You can actually see shadows moving there, so that's quite good. Um, but yeah, so that's your display. As you can see there, you've got the battery level down by there. Bluetooth telling me it's connected to my phone. I'm not too sure what some of the others are. The date and time hasn't been set up yet because it hasn't actually been used outside. It hasn't paired with a uh, satellite for the GPS to be done. But all in all, that looks like it's going to be a, a really good camera. So 
Let's turn that off a minute because there is one more thing I need to show you. So let's push and hold the off. You get a nice little noise and off it goes. So you'd be taking it off of there because the one thing I discovered and I found this by accident messing around. So obviously we've done the select language. We've done all that is this bit here. Obviously, I want to use the removable windscreen mount because it's going to be going from vehicle to vehicle. This bit I'm going to put in my car with the double sticky. So it actually slides off, if I can remember which way, there you go. So you can see this little noggin here, push it that way and off that comes. So obviously that bit has to come with me, that goes in the lorry. This bit, obviously I'm gonna to have to set it up on there in my car for when I use that in the car. And the windscreen mount, you've got to remember, it's gonna go on the windscreen that way. That bit goes in your camera, so it goes this way. Now with this one here, I have to remember which way around this goes. There's only one way it can go on anyway. We will, sorry, can't really see that, can you? Clip that in there and, and you hear that little click. So that tells you that's on. So now you're gonna imagine this is on your windscreen. There's your camera. You've done all the little gummins of setting that up and so all your tape will be off. And if that's then going on the windscreen, you connect that straight away pop that on your windscreen, turn it on, then go through the process of setting up your camera. Make sure it's at the right place. So the other thing that I've noticed on here as well, on this base, which is the bit that comes with you, whether you're having it double-sided taped to your car or whether you're using the windscreen mount like I'm going to be, you have in there a place for the power cable to go. So when that's on your windscreen, you've got a 90 degree turn on there and uh, what my dumb self has done there we go that is a really really strong magnet actually that's going to be very good we need to now take that back off there you go so before you put it on there what i would suggest is you've got your 90 degree cable make sure you get the thing in the right way around pop that in there like so that we go, and it's in. Then put it on your windscreen base. So we then it's a little bit tricky, but we'll go on. There you go. And now that's ready to go off to your cigarette lighter. Wait to have all accessory socket, I should say these days. And now your camera's ready to use. So yeah. That's the next pace, five, uh, GW522. Like I said, I did buy this extra accessory. I haven't opened it yet, as you can see. But uh, let's open it up for all those of you that are looking at this thing for your car. And let's get rid of the wrapping. Packaging and wrapping all in one for those of you that don't know my little ding moves. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just connects to the side and looks on that so let's have a look so oh yeah there you go you have an accessory flap by here so we take that off quite careful it does come off and you will lose it otherwise and that then as you can see plugs in there and then you've got that adjustable lens so obviously when it's under your rear view mirror that one's looking backwards this one's looking forwards Let's turn it on and just see what it does, shall we? Okay, and we're powering up. We've now got the accessory on. And there we go. So, actually looking at my front room. My missus will kill me. There you go, you're now looking at... Uh... Oh, that's the back window. So yeah, but then you've got a picture in picture. But you can't move it around, can you? It's a shame I'd rather it was somewhere else, to be honest. Low battery, yes, I know. Okay, so video length, exposure, audio. Okay, battery's getting that low. It's not going to let me play with it with this adapter on. But again, like I said, that's not really relevant for the purpose of this video simply because I won't be using this in the truck. So I will be keeping this little door, which I've lost again. This little door or rubber stopper, if you like, plugged in there, and that's me ready to go. 
So, hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been a little bit long-winded. I do apologise. I will try and get better as time goes on. Um, not sure what my next one's going to be, but there will be another one. Uh, other than that, I will start sort of videoing my day-to-day -day work, where I am, what I'm doing, where I'm going, who I'm working for. And uh, hopefully you'll like it, subscribe, tell your friends, get them to subscribe. Let's get a few followers on the go. And uh, any comments, any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. I am, at the end of the day, just your average everyday lorry driver. I'm not a rocket scientist. I don't ever claim to be. I've got a little bit of intelligence, but I've literally just learned that in my life. So have a great day, everyone, and hope to speak to you again soon.